So I'm going to bring you another uh, Carbide Create Pro tutorial example. Today we're uh, going to build this uh, cigar tray over here, uh, which we'll go through a little bit. But the idea is to uh, use this to show you some skills with how I use widgets and just to show you how Carbide Pro works. And at the end, uh, uh, we'll have a cigar tray that you can use. So I'm um, setting up my material here in a job setup just to let you know what I did. The width is 15 inches, the height is 11 and a half inches, thickness is 0.75. I put my um, tool pad zero in the lower left corner and I've got the retract height that uh, 0.5. Uh, so today I'm gonna start talking about this a cigar tray over here. So you've got a little spot to hold your cigar, an ashtray. This is set up for a, uh, like a glass of scotch or something and this is just a little pouch for maybe the lighter or the cigar cutter this is for an extra cigar so um, to try and get to some of the the uh, carbide carbide pro features i'm going to kind of breeze through this so this is the drawing this is kind of where i i got all the pieces you can just run around you can make this any size you want but uh, this is uh, got a diameter 3.5 this is 3.5. The little fillets are 7.5 on here. Um, this circles uh, four, four and a half by seven. The cigar tray for holding one is 1.1 by 11, <clears throat> and the overall size of this is about 12 by 7.5. This square up here, you can make whatever size you want to drop in here. I've tried to keep a half inch gap around everything on the sides, all the way around, just for uniformity. Uh, but, uh, and then you've got these other pieces here that um, <clears throat> are at a 165 degree angle and uh, you, you, uh, you make them whatever size you, you want to bring them in here, but you're gonna bring one in and set it like that and you're gonna bring the other one. This is gonna be for the cigar tray holder and you want it to bump up against one end like that and then overhang the other end, but they're both at a 165 degree angle. And so it's gonna sit, sit like that and you could make it a little shorter if you wanted to, um, but it doesn't matter, that's up to you. Uh, up, up here, when you get to here, you're gonna go use, you're gonna highlight both these, you're gonna use your, uh, your trim vector tool, and you're just gonna whack away uh, everything that you don't want. There you go. And now you okay that. And when you get off, it's purple which means it's not one connected vector. So you have to highlight both pieces and you can tell they're both pieces because one's dash and one's solid. And to bring them together, you've got a join tool over here, vector, uh, join vectors, and you click it and now it's all dashed. So that comes together. And then you can take these little one inch circles like this and stick them in the corners here and uh, do a same, same kind of clip to, to get the corners round. Uh, you only have to do two of them if you set them up ahead of time. Uh, but you could do in here if you want on these and out here like I did. So I did the corners in here, 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 and here. And you have to use a smaller circle than an inch. So that's what that is. Okay, so that's the basic setup for the uh, <clears throat> the drawing of, of how this works. And so you can, you, you can pause it if you want and look at the numbers and, but you can build this any way you like. So what I'm gonna do is move all this off and I'm gonna bring the tray back on and I'm gonna start getting into modeling. So assuming we've finished up the drawing and you're happy with what it looks like, we're gonna go start building it. And the first thing we're gonna do is build a shape that represents the entire structure that we're gonna edit down. So we highlight that, we come over, we're gonna do a flat, um, we're gonna do the height of the material, 0.75, we're gonna go ahead and name it flat 0.75 and add as it's already set up. So that adds the whole material. Then we're gonna leave this here, go ahead and hit done to close that out and then come over and highlight the other two which are joined together already. Then we're gonna do another quick model. We're gonna do a, a flat as well and we're gonna go down quite a ways on the material, so um, 0.65 for the depth of it. We're gonna type in, you know, hole, because there are two holes, and it's 0.75, and it's a subtract. 
SUB. Um, and that does that. So now we'll make a quick look at what it looks like. Oops, that messed up. So what did I do there? Well, it's still add over here. So I need to put a subtract and there we go. So we, we got them back. So that's uh, how we got those two holes. Now we'll go work on the, the next hole. Okay, so we're gonna model the ashtray portion right now. So we've got it highlighted. So we're gonna come on over and we've got some options here. So we'll start out with it round 45. We're gonna start out with a scale height and we're gonna go down to 0.65 and um, we'll label it later and that's gonna be a subtract. So this is how this one looks. So it's the scale height makes it an even flow all the way across. It hits that bottom uh, 0.65 of the material, uh, but we're gonna go show it in uh, um, limit height as well. And you see limit height makes a flat spot in the middle. So you can pick it any way you like, either way. I, I did my last one with it round. I think I'm gonna stick with this one this time this way. And so we're gonna come in and label it as, um, uh, uh, I'll just put ashtray uh, limit height 0.65 and subtract. And so we're gonna apply the new name title and then we'll hit done. And now we're gonna go look at how to do these two cigar trays. And that's a, there's a trick to that. And uh, I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay, we're gonna do a quick build of a widget. So I pulled up a new window. My material size is 18 by 18. And we're gonna build a widget on there. This widget will help us build our cigar holders. And you'll see in a little minute, we're basically gonna build a, a grayscale model. So first uh, I've got a rectangle that's 14 by 1.1 in size. Now I'm gonna go to my model tool and I've got my old model sitting there di di disabled, but we'll build our new one. And this has to be in the center right here. So we'll come in, it's gonna be flat. We're gonna go 0.5 on the height. We're doing add and we're done there. And uh, so you can take a quick look at it. That's what it looks like, just a piece of wood. We'll hide that. We're gonna go back to the same same thing. Have to hit done. All right, so now we're ready to build the next one. We're gonna come with a half round. We're gonna scale height it. It's gonna be 0.4, just a little less. And we're gonna subtract it. And there we go. And this is our, our widget. And so it's a little trough is what it is to hold a cigar. And so we're gonna say done. Then we're gonna come up to export and we're gonna name it and we'll name it cigar. We'll name it cigar and, and then we hit save. And so now we've got a widget in here in our, in our inventory to use for whenever we need something that size. So this is what our widgets look like. Uh, my uh, um, screen recorder doesn't record it when I run off to look at a, um, a, a file. So now we're gonna use our widget that we just made. Um, so what we'll do is we'll highlight where we wanna drop the widget and it's gonna put it, center it on that. So what we come in here is we import model, we find our widget and it brings it in. You can barely see it right there, it's at an angle. So we have to turn it to 90 degrees. Uh, we're gonna make the height 1.4 and then um, our scale height, I've already tried this. I know it needs to be at 1.6. Um, and then we would normally label this, but I'm trying to keep us on track here time-wise. And there we go. And so now I'll show it to you. So now you've got a nice little trough set in there with the ends nice and square. And so that's what you look like. And you can, you can play with that and you can raise it up and lower down. You can change the angle or whatever you want to do. So now we'll get set up to do the other one. So we're gonna add in our last little cigar tray here. We're gonna make that one. So I'm highlighting it here and I'm bringing it in is my, my widget. Bring that in. It's at an angle right here. So we're gonna put this at 75 degrees to line up with the other one. We're gonna do a height of 0.4. We're gonna do a scale like we did the other one, 1 1.6. And we're gonna see what happens there. We're gonna look at it. Oh, quite a mess. So we're gonna have to do some more stuff here. So we'll hide that. I need to go inverted here on it. 
and I need to do a min function, and then we're going to add a little bit of base height to it to push it up a 0.4, and we'll see what that does. All righty, so that, that actually brings it back in. We got a nice little trough there. It, it was poking through here on the bottom, but that's, uh, that's what the uh, tray looks like right there. And so now we can uh, go to the, uh, the carve setup. So I went ahead and went to the toolpath layer and got us a little bit started to save a little time. So I highlighted the outside. I, I picked the, the roughing pass. I used a quarter inch uh, round ball nose and it's around 19 minutes. It, depending on what kind of wood you are, you probably can uh, improve upon that. So now we're going to jump into our finish pass here. We'll use the current still selected uh, quarter inch um, and we'll come down here, everything else. And like I said, you'll have to go in and play with the speeds and feeds to get down to what, what you need. Um, it's already saying that that's only a 10 minute pass, which has got to be wrong. So, but the um, point here is just to go ahead and show you what it looks like in this uh, toolpath mode. We'll take away the, so this is what it looks like. All right, now we still have this piece out here um, and that is because we have not trimmed it off. So if I go back here, I need to go do one more and I'll let you figure that one out. You do one more tool path to do a contour all the way around the edge here, and then that'll finish off your product. Anyway, um, I hope maybe you've learned some techniques techniques here or some things you might help you. Uh, and if you get a, a little a cigar uh, tray out of it, then that's good too. Here is uh, listed as some additional resources where you can go and read up on material. Um, uh, thank you for your time. I hope uh, you're able to get something out of that. Uh, please like and subscribe if you found this useful.